even virtually on this evening. It is good to be together denominationally, and it's good to be together as the larger community of God. I've been so blessed by the unique offerings of worship, the extravagant acts of being church I've seen over these last few weeks. I've borne witness to the prayerful leadership of our conference ministers, pastors, and congregants in our midst. In the midst of trying times, you found ways to make space for lament, to make space for hope, and even to make space for joy. We give thanks today for Reverend Dr. Chris Davies, our team leader for Faith Info, who nurtured this vision into reality. She is not with us today because she found joy in marrying the love of her life today. And we ask God's blessings upon that union of she and Laura as we gather here. As we all adjust to new normals, as we shelter in place and shelter in faith, Justice and Local Church Ministries has worked to craft the clearing in the chaos where we might come together across the denomination twice weekly to lean, to love, and to learn together. You are all invited to meet us here in this virtual space every Tuesday and Thursday from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, as your schedule allows. We've chosen this time so that our siblings in Hawaii can join us comfortably as well. Next Tuesday's time will focus on our mental health and care for those of us living with disabilities. On Thursday, Maundy Thursday, the 2030 clergy group will lead us in a tenebrae service for Maundy Thursday. Each week, you will be able to see the agenda for our upcoming gatherings on social media and ucc.org. We are grateful for the partnership of OPTIC with us in this effort. But today, on Palm Sunday, we wanted to begin our time together with prayer. We will be led in prayer first by our general minister and president, the Reverend Dr. John C. Dorhauer followed by Reverend Sharon Lee MacArthur, retired pastor, UCC Northern California and Hawaii. And then Reverend Leah Roberts Mosser, pastor, community UCC Champaign, Illinois. Then we will have Reverend Allison May, lead pastor of First Church, Somerville, Massachusetts. Pastor Edwin Perez, Jr., from Manacio de Gracia, UCC, West Hartford, Connecticut, and Pastor Kenneth Makuakane, pastor of Kauaiao Church in Honolulu, Hawaii. Our music for this gathering is original music written by our Minister for Congregations and Community Connections, the Reverend Tracy Howe Wispelway. Let us pray. I'm going to teach this song before um, Reverend Dr. John Dorhauer or Tracy Blackman. Are you going to pray after I, after, before Reverend Dr. John Dorhauer starts? Uh, the words are, the world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. That's part one. And part two is justice will come when it is embodied in us. And justice will come when it is embodied in us 
and justice will come when it is embodied in us and we'll use these two sections as the refrain between each of our prayers john we breathe in and we breathe out and as we do we remind ourselves that god is never further away from us than our next breath let us then pray to the god who animated our spirits by breathing into us life who remains present to us today through a living Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of the living God and the risen Christ. And calling to mind and embodying the presence of that Holy Spirit who herself incarnates daily the risen Christ to us, we pray. O Holy Spirit of the living God and the risen Christ, we feel once again as if we were walking in those shadowed valleys of death, the shadowed valleys that can often intimidate and frighten and unsettle us. It is in these shadowed valleys that we not only encounter death, but the fear of impending death. The entire globe has had its foundations shaken as village and city and state and country and continent collectively grieve the loss of loved ones over and over and over again and endure the ravages to our body of a virus that we cannot yet identify and are far away from finding a cure for. And yes, in these shadowed valleys, life can again appear to be uncertain. But we remember with confidence the words of the psalmist who wrote that, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, and your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Like the Israelites of old, we feel as though we are wandering in a wilderness, a wilderness of uncertainty, where one pathway today seems to take us down a road of hope only to turn us tomorrow into a path of uncertainty and doubt and anxiety as we try to find our bearings. Sequestered secluded, alienated, lonely, and lost. Not even knowing when the doors to our companionship will be open again to us. We struggle to find our footing in this wilderness. And we remember the words of the prophet who said that you will make a way in the wilderness. Give us eyes to see your way through this. Give us the faith in uncertain times to take the next step, not knowing where it may lead us, but trusting that that step walks us down the way that you have made in the wilderness. And we are mindful, especially this week, that we walk not only the shadowed valleys, 
the uncertain pathways of the wilderness, but we walk with certainty the way of the cross that leads to death. These and many of us have touched death. We have felt her cold hand. We have watched as loved ones have lost their lives and breathed their last. Many of them in hospital rooms where we can't even go and see them, much less touch them and talk to them. And the loneliness is shattering. And we also remember the words of Paul in his letter to the Corinthians, wrote, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? We give thanks to God who has given us the victory in Jesus Christ. And we will walk past the shadows, through the wilderness, beyond the cross, and become once again the Easter people that we are. Certain that your resurrected body from the grave is our hope. Certain that in the power of this resurrection, we know that we do not grieve as those who do not have hope, and certain that nothing, neither death nor life, nor angels, nor demons, nor powers, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor pandemic, can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. May the better angels among us emerge as we find within ourselves the hope of an Easter people, the hope that allows us to rejoice always and give thanks in all circumstances. This is our humble prayer, and we offer it in your most holy name. Amen. The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. And justice will come when it is embodied in us. And justice will come when it is embodied in us. You are all invited to list your prayers in the Q&A session. If you have prayers, you're invited to write them in the Q&A session. I am Reverend Sharon Lee MacArthur, retired pastor of UCC churches in Northern California and Hawaii, currently living in Northern California. So please make your prayer requests. Please pray with me now. Serongdai, Kamisama, God of many names. We gather together in our new normal way of gathering for a special time of prayer. Though scattered throughout your land, we are here. Thanks to technology today for Zoom. We come to you, O oh God, with such mixed emotions. Mixed emotions and some confusion. While the calendar says today is Palm Sunday, our feelings are that of fear. Fear of the first disciples huddled behind closed doors as we hide behind closed doors. We are so grateful for this opportunity to feel united by your love, even as we are practicing social distancing as a way to stop the coronavirus pandemic. We're happy to see the faces and hear the voices gathered. And yet, we are so sad. We are so sad because we miss the ways in which we once greeted one another not so long ago with handshakes and hugs and kisses. We miss expressing our affection for one another through touch. We miss 
ex expressing our love for one another. So hear us and help us, O God. Fill us with your love. Fill us with your peace. Our hearts are heavy as we see and hear the statistics wherever we turn the number of identified cases in our neighborhoods, in our communities, in our state, our nation, in other countries, and the number of deaths keep climbing. Our hearts go out to the patients, to the victims, to the health workers who put themselves at risk as they care for patients, the folks who continue to work among us in lines of work that are deemed necessary. Oh God, give them strength, resilience, compassion, and health. And most of all, let each one feel your presence, be strengthened by your spirit, empowered and loved. Fill their hearts with your love and your peace. As we realize that schools and universities have had to close as well as many businesses and retailers and the entire hospitality industry struggling to survive to combat the pandemic, we think of the students the teachers, the workers whose job descriptions have had to change or whose jobs have been eliminated. Our hearts ache for all whose lives and livelihoods are at risk. Our hearts ache for them. We pray for hope. We pray for strength, for your love and your peace. Remind each one that though the future is unknown, you are with them and with us. Fill our hearts with your love and peace, O oh God. God of all languages, cultures, and traditions, God who knows all and hears all. Even though the lives of the entire global community have been altered by this virus, you must know that the lives of a certain segment of your earthly family are now dealing with an extra layer of challenges. Oh God, we lift up our Asian American siblings who have endured harassment and resentments as well as verbal and physical attacks by those who blame Asians for being coronavirus carriers or for the very virus itself. Be with the Asian American members of your family. Give them strength and resilience and hope. Be with them. Let them feel your presence and your love. We pray that your light and love fill all your children, that we can all be guided by your love and your light. Holy God, we gather to seek your guidance in these unusual times. We are grateful for you and for us made in your own image. Remind us that we are called to help bring to life your hope for all. As we enter Holy Week and a time for drawing closer to you, remind us that we are your creation. Remind us to use our eyes to see you in all we encounter to see you and how you can be present in the injustices we encounter. Remind us to use our ears to hear the hopes and fears of your people. Remind us to use our lips to praise you, to pray to you, to stand with your people who are suffering, to speak for those who are without voice. Remind us to use our hands and feet, indeed our whole bodies, to express our love for you and your compassion and care for all people. Remind us to open our hearts so wide that when you fill us with your love and peace, we cannot help but bring to life your united and uniting beloved community. Yes, even during and maybe because of COVID-19. In your many, many holy names we pray. Amen. <laughs> The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. And justice will come when it is embodied in us. And justice will come when it is.
is embodied in us. The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. Reverend Leah Roberts Moser and I serve at Community United Church of Christ in Champaign-Urbana, Illinois. I want to remind you that we are taking prayer requests in the Q&A section. Submit them and we will engage as many as we can in the time that we have and pray over the rest in what is saved. Dear ones, let us pray. God of the broken and of the brokenhearted, your beloved one said that we would know you in the breaking. And God, all we know these days is breaking. Broken bodies and broken systems, broken hearts the world over. Be known to us, God, we beg you in breaking. We are so used to planning ahead, God, forecasting what is to come, saving dates and blocking out schedules, buying tickets, making reservations. We are so used to working for the weekend, how far away that life seems since our whole world has ground to a halt. Days melt together. Help us reframe our sense of time to be in this moment, in this day, in this breath, so that we might glimpse the inbreaking of your kingdom in the here and now, not in some far off future, but here among us. Be known to us, we beg you, in the breaking. And yet, for others, God, the world has not stopped. It has ramped up and amped up. Some of us have been launched into action, tending to this emergency on all of our behalves. In this, our present brokenness, some of our work is essential. Bless it, oh God. Bless the ones who aren't getting a break, be they surgeons or store clerks, truckers or technicians. Bless all the essential workers who work to mend broken bodies and patch broken systems. Bless the ones who through research and science are making a way where there was once no way. Be known to us, we beg you, in the breaking. In our life pre-pandemic, oh God, there were people who lived balanced on the edge of abyss for whom daily existence was a struggle. And now, Holy One, in the midst of this worldwide catastrophe, their lives have become precarious and fraught. And so we hold in the light of your love the poor and the poor in spirit, impoverished persons and people without a permanent address, refugees and displaced persons the world over, students who are stranded far away from home. God, we pray for people who are chained in their body or mind by mental illness or addiction, and we lift those who are in danger daily, even though they are at home. We hold close to your heart all those who are already wrecked by grief, for whom this pandemic is a pile-on of what was already too much, for all those who were just trying to hold it together, and then this happened. God, we pray, be known to us, we beg you, in the breaking. We are told in the old, old story, O oh God, that Christ came to be known in the breaking of the bread. And we're also told that we are the church and we are your body. As your body breaks the world around in illness, in grief, in death, and in uncertainty, be known to us. We are told that when you became known in the breaking of the bread, their eyes were opened. And so open our eyes today, God. Open our eyes to new truths and new possibility. New life is at hand even now. And reminders are all around. New life emerged when the eggshell breaks. New 
growth shoots through the soil when the seed hull splits, rain falls when the cloud burst, and new life is born when the water breaks. Be known to us. We beg you in the breaking. Remind us that it doesn't happen all at once. It takes time and struggle, and the old ways of being have to fall away. But God, you are the God of new life, and you are with us. You are with us in the breaking. You are with us in the breaking. You are with us, God. Come and make all things new. Amen. The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. And justice will come when it is embodied in us and justice will come when it is embodied in us I'm going to start singing our health is in God's hands our health is in God's hands which are our hands, which are God's hands. Our health is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. I am the Reverend Jen Macy, and I am from First Church in Somerville in Somerville, Massachusetts. And we'd like to invite you to continue to offer your prayer requests in the Q&A section so that we can pray them alongside you tonight. Creator God, you know what we need before it becomes a thought in our head, a word on our heart, or a concept in our imagination. And there are so many things happening, God, right now that were beyond our imagination just a few weeks ago. And yet you created us, each one of us, interdependent. Not independent, not to rely on ourselves and ourselves alone, but to rely on you and for one another. And for this interdependence, God, we give thanks. We give thanks that before there was time, you created the frontline workers who are your hands and your feet right now. You created the nurses and the doctors, the cleaning staff and the assistants, the social workers and the therapists, the grocery store staff and the pharmacists, all of those who are taking care of us, feeding us, healing us, holding us, and walking us through this moment in time. I'd like to invite us to take a moment and wrap those people in prayer so that God's strength might rise in them right now in this very moment when we are all gathered together. Hey, everyone, I wrote God a song. Rise in them. May God soothe their bodies. May God calm their anxious hearts. May God give them clear minds and a hope for the future that seems so uncertain right now. And God, we also ask the question, we must also ask, how are the children? And right now, the children are in trouble. Our children who are already suffering from food insecurity or a lack of shelter, or abuse and neglect are in even more trouble now, God. And so we ask that you also wrap yourself around the frontline workers who are doing their very best to support them and feed them and hold them and keep them safe in this time. 
for the educators, for the principals, for the governmental staff, for the foster parents, and for all of those who are caring for children in their homes, who are trying to teach them what it means to be interdependent in this moment in history. We thank you. Be with them. Be with the children. Be in us all as we live and breathe for another day, for another week, for another month, and for as long as this crisis lasts. Thank you for your strength, O oh God. We know before we asked for it, we had already received it. And we pray all of this in your son's name. Amen. Amen. The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. And I'm going to sing, Healing Will Come. And he will come when it is embodied in us and healing will come when it is embodied in us the world is in God's hands which are our hands which are God's hands. The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. Beloved, I am the Reverend Evan Perez of Manantial de Gracia, United Church of Christ in West Hartford, Connecticut. And I'd like to remind you that we are taking prayer requests in the Q&A section of this chat area. Submit them, and we will engage as many as we can in the time that we have and pray over the rest and what is saved. I want you to join me in prayer as I pray in my native language in Spanish. Oh Dios, quien nos ama como madre y padre, tú Señor que eres el Dios de nuestra salvación, tú oh Dios que está sobre todas las cosas. Señor, queremos orar hoy y presentar a aquellos quienes son inmigrantes, queremos presentarte a aquellos quienes están marginados, queremos presentarte en oración, oh Señor, aquellos quienes débiles se encuentran, los que se encuentran con otras enfermedades y problemas, los que más débiles están durante este tiempo y esta crisis, Señor, queremos orar por el que más necesita de nuestra ayuda, que necesita de aquellos trabajadores esenciales que no pueden quedarse en sus casas, quienes, quienes riesgan su vida todos los días, Señor, oh te pido. Te pido que tu mano esté fortaleciéndoles a través de aquellos quienes están arriesgando sus vidas en este momento, que tú a través de ellos ministres a aquellos que se sientan solos, que tal vez están en, en toques de queda en sus casas, que, que sí pueden quedarse en sus casas, pero también se sienten solos porque no tienen familia. Señor, oramos por ellos, oramos. Dios mío, por las madres que están dando a luz en este tiempo tan peligroso, por la madre que aquí en Connecticut perdió su vida y su hijo también recién nacido. Aquellos, Señor, quienes trabajan como capellanes en nuestros hospitales, queremos también orar, Señor, por aquellos quienes sufren eh, violencia doméstica en sus hogares y que ahora es un tiempo muy y muy peligroso, oh Dios. Quedarse en su toque de queda siendo víctima de dicha violencia. Señor, inquieta los vecinos, inquieta los corazones y los oídos de aquellos quienes viven a sus alrededores para que puedan hacer justicia. Señor, oramos por aquellos que han contraído el coronavirus. Oramos, Señor, por aquellos que los quienes los tienen 
que todavía no han fallecido y que todavía tienen esperanza. Señor, te pido que unja las manos de los médicos, que tú protejas, Dios mío, el personal de los hospitales y que tú des sabiduría, Señor, a los científicos, investigadores que están buscando día y noche sin descansar, buscando cura a esta enfermedad abrumadora. Señor, Mira el tratamiento de los territorios en los Estados Unidos, mira las colonias, mira, Señor, los estadios, el, el Estado Libre Asociado de Puerto Rico y cómo se trata tan diferente como los otros estados. Mira las personas que son tratadas diferentes, que son marginadas, personas que están sufriendo injusticias en la manera en que reciben ayuda y recursos. Oramos por aquellos las familias de aquellos que han partido a causa de este virus y que han partido tal vez a causa de, otra, de otro motivo, Señor. Y sus familiares, les pido que tú les des fuerza porque en este momento tal vez no pueden celebrar sus vidas de aquellos quienes partieron debido al toque de queda. Señor, dale fuerzas. Imparte de tu Espíritu Santo, la paz que sobrepasa todo entendimiento, oh Dios. Te pido, Señor, que tú abras nuestros corazones en este tiempo más difícil para que podamos, Dios mío, estar atentos a las necesidades de nuestros pueblos. Sean si algunos que tienen máscaras en exceso, que, que han adquirido materiales, inquieta sus corazones para que puedan donar esos materiales, Señor, a los hospitales quienes más lo necesitan, que son los trabajadores esenciales. Mira aquellos que están pasando por pensamientos de suicidio, Señor. Aquellos que están contemplando quitar su vida porque ya no pueden estar desconectados. Que lo, aquellos quien, quienes tienen problemas de salud mental y emocional, y a quienes le está afectando esta crisis, Señor, más aún todavía. Te pido, Señor, que tú nos ayudes a recordar los nombres de aquellas personas para poder llamarlo, que aunque no podemos estar físicamente juntos, que por lo menos podamos extender una mano virtual a través de una llamada, a través de una oración, a través de una llamada de video, a través de de las redes sociales, ayúdanos, Señor, a hacer la iglesia fuera de las cuatro paredes, Señor. Te lo pido en el dulce nombre de tu Hijo amado Jesús y en el nombre del Dios creador, Jesucristo y el Espíritu Santo. Te lo pedimos, lo declaramos, lo decretamos y lo creemos en el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. Justice will come when it is embodied in us, and justice will come when it is embodied in us. The world is in God's hands which are our hands, which are God's hands. Aloha mai kako. I'm the Reverend Kenneth Makua Kani um, from Kauaiha'o Church in Honolulu, Hawaii. And I come to you also with prayers. As we do our hymnodies, it's our prayers for us. Savior, like a shepherd, leads us. we need your tender care. In your pressure, pleasant feet, for our years. 
Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time together. We are a people of prayer. And so we pray for those in the world. Lord, we pray for those who need assistance. Lord, we pray for those who sit at this table of yours. We are the prayer warriors, Lord. We take your message to the world. And as such, we pray for our government. Yes, Lord, because we know that you are in control. We know that you have put people into place, and that is your plan. Like what you did in the book of Habakkuk. Like how you took the nation of Israel and gave it to Babylon. Lord, we know that you have put that into place. And let the lessons be learned. Lord, let these lessons be learned that we pray around this table. And as such, we do pray, Lord, for our president and our Congress. We do pray for our governors and our legislators. We do pray for our county mayors and we do pray for our county council. We pray for the triage. We pray for our medical workers. We pray for all those who serve the public. And we also pray for us, Lord, who give spiritual wellness. And in times, of, uh, times like these, we give spiritual comfort. Lord, be with us today. Because we know that all things work in the way that you have them. Because we are that voice. Let us continue to be that voice. We are that voice, Lord. We are a voice to this generation. Freely we receive, and freely we will give. To reach the unreached, and to tell the untold, we are a voice that the world should know. We have been called. At such a time as this, to hold forth the word of life that all men may see the light, to heal the brokenhearted by the power of your name. 
we are a voice that the world should know. It's the voice of Jesus, full of majesty, tearing down Satan's walls, setting the captives free. We have called all of us this team. in such a time as this. Hold forth the word of life that all men may see the light to heal the broken hearted by the power of God's name. We are a voice. We are a voice. Church of Christ, we are that voice. We are a voice that the world should know. We let it know, and we let it be known to others. We stand firm in your sacraments, in your scriptures, on everything. Kia kua na kalau na pu ana me ka uhane he mo leli me o koa pau. Amen. 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 We thank Pastor Kenneth for reminding us that we are that voice. And gracious God, the voices that we have gathered here on this line whether we heard prayers through the typing or whether we heard prayers audibly and the prayers that we carry in our hearts. For those who are grieving, for those who are struggling, for those who are alone, for those who are in need of things that they do not yet have. For the pain and for the tears, for the uncertainty. God, we pray for your presence among us in ways that we might feel it, that it might be tangible, that we might be reminded that although we are isolated, we no longer are in isolation, for we are connected to one another. We thank you for the representation of our church, reminding us that even though we may be separated by distance, we are brought closer through our time with you. Thank you for those who made possible this moment in the clearing, this opportunity to gather as the wider church and to do what we do best, to pray. Be with us as we leave this space, but never your presence. Remind us on this Palm Sunday that no matter how it looks, no matter that the parade has been canceled, no matter that we didn't wave our palms today, no matter how it looks, that the world is still true and Jesus is still coming, Jesus is still in our midst. Be not afraid, for God is with us. These things we ask, in the name of Jesus, amen. Hosanna, Hosanna. In the highest 
and we'll sing out uh, the song that we've been singing. I did post a link. You are very welcome to use it and stream it uh, in your communities. The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. Our health is in God's hands. Our health is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. Our health is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. And justice will come, and justice will come when it is embodied in us. And justice will come when it is embodied in us and healing will come and healing will come when it is embodied in us and healing will come when it is embodied in us the world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. The world is in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. You are in God's hands. You are in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. And I am in God's hands. I am in God's hands, which are our hands, which are God's hands. Amen. Go in peace.